Hello everybody, here we are with video three. I'm going to do a whole bunch of little tiny videos and put them all together as one. Um, I have taken off the board out of that tube uh, plasma ball I had. It was previously mounted on this platform. That's just the screws in a little bag. And I have marked the board with a black mark on it. And that's the land that I'm going to cut right about there um, that connects the transformer to the middle wire on the transistor that I've mentioned in the previous videos. And if you'll notice, I've picked that spot because on the opposite side, and you can see the land through the circuit, you can see the land. There's no components there and I have room to actually cut and um, put a couple of um, connection points on those lands. I'm going to do that to three boards. Here's another board and you can see the mark and you can see where I'm going to cut. It's that black mark. It's not get a better focus right there. It's that black mark that I'm pointing to right there. And here's the third board that I'm going to cut. And um, I'll continue. I'm going to pause and I'll come back after they're all cut. Okay. Uh, this is uh, video number three. And you can see that I had cut the lamb pattern right where I'm pointing. And I drilled two holes and scraped a little of the uh, uh, solder mask off so I'll have a place to connect the two wires from the thermal switch and when the thermal switch is closed that's one of these guys take off the cover that's one of these guys um, it's got two wires and it will connect to those two holes, they'll get soldered in and it will get um, heat glued onto the transistor. Um, on the inside, I'll glue it right to the transistor. You can't see it, my finger's pointing to it. And there we go. I did this on all three units. You can see the same thing. I cut the uh, land, it's right there, and here's the third one. And I cut the land and you can see the two holes so I have a place to connect the wires. Alright, so, like I said, I glued, I soldered these in. The next thing I'm going to do is um, actually heat sink this on to the, the thermal switch onto the side of the heat sink that's attached to the tip 122 transistor. And I'll do that live in front of you on one of them and the other two I'll do on the side. So I have this heat sink plaster, I just took off the cover, heat sink plaster and that's what it says, heat sink plaster, I think I held it steady enough. And I will put a little bit right on, doesn't take much, putting it right on the thermal switch. And you can see how I just covered that th thermal switch on one side and just put some on there. And now I'm going to take that thermal switch and I'm going to pin it on the side here with a clamp. I have several clamps here. Okay. So you can see what I've done here. I've heat synced the thermal switch get in front of the camera on the side of the heat sink and I used the thermal paste and I've um, clamped it. It will take about an hour for that to dry 
hard enough so I can play around with the board. So I'll put the board aside for now. And I'll do the other two, and then we'll pick up uh, uh, shortly with video four. I have one more thing to show you. Okay, the last thing I really wanted to show you was is that I've uh, glued the thermal switches, or heat glued, heat plastered the thermal switches. But you'll notice on every one of the thermal switches, one of the wires has a white piece of tape wrapped around it. And I call that the isolation wire, and I'm going to explain that. And if you purchase the kits from me, um, wherever I put them, these little guys, they include some accessories, including one of these thermal switches, completely um, uh, done with respect to I've isol found the isolated uh, line. I'm going to explain that right now. So, what you have to do is you have to have an ohm meter, and you have to find out which line, when the switch opens up, is not touching the case. One of these wires is often touching the case. And I have an ohm meter here. I just brought it over here. I'm going to put one clip to one wire and one clip to the other wire. And the ohm meter just went to zero. And, and you may be able to hear the, it's buzzing away on me. But if I, if I touch, if I take the clip off, off a wire and, and, and then touch it to the case, the wires are also touching the case internally. And I need to know when that heats up, which one will not touch the case internally. And there's a reason why. So what do I have here but my trusty heat gun? And let's see if I can set this up so you can see the meter. You might not... Yeah, it looks like zero. That means there's a, a complete short circuit. I have the clips on the meter to the heat sink, and I'm going to heat the heat sink up. Not a heat sink. I meant to say thermal switch. I meant to say thermal switch. And when that gets hot enough, you're going to see that ohm meter go open. In other words, it won't read zero, zero, zero. It'll read uh, um, infinity or one, zero, 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 or whatever. Uh, let's hope it does that. Oops, there it goes. See, it reads one. It's open now. And I could hear it click. So the next thing I'm going to do is put down the heat gun carefully so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to disconnect one wire do this in front of the camera and see if I don't hear any I don't hear it uh, I, I found the isolated wire already it's the wire this one right here that I'm wiggling I can reverse that and you see just the meter went to so this wire here is not isolated but this wire here is that's a hot switch right now, so I'm not touching it. But I have identified the ice, the wire that actually gets isolated when the switch opens. So what I'm going to do is going to put this right here for a second. I'm going to take a piece of tape. If you get the switch for me, you might not get a white piece of tape on the. You might get a yellow or something. I'm going to cut a little sliver of a tape. A little sliver of a tape, and has that cooled down enough? It's still a little warm, but I'm going to wrap the tape around the isolated lead so I know which one is the isolated lead. And now I have just got another unit prepared to be used with another plasma ball because I know which isolated lead is. And now I'm going to tell you the last secret here. The isolated lead always connects to the, the LAN that goes to the transformer. I'm pointing to the transformer LAN on this particular one. And that isolated lead, that white wire, goes to the LAN that goes to the transformer. And that's the rule. Now, the last thing I'm going to say about this on this video is, is that you don't need to do any of this if you make a gating-only ball. Um, and you'll know a little bit more about gating 
only if you watched a video I had did a few days ago um, or uh, you just watch the rest of the series and you'll hear me explain a little bit more about gating only or gating. Okay, that's it. That winds up the third video.